Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Break Games and welcome to a brand new video about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, the massive new LEGO game coming out here in spring 2022 from TT Games. And I wanted to make this video because there's actually been a small bit of activity regarding this game kind of going on in the back end. So I kind of wanted to provide a news update on that. It's nothing too major, but I thought it was worthy of a video. Enough stuff has kind of happened. And I kind of want to make the first news update here of 2022 because the game is just a few months away now if you really think about it. So it's kind of a uh, uh, wild to uh, think about but the first thing I want to talk about here is a new tweet from the Warner Brothers Spain account the WB Games Spain account of all places actually tweeted this out a couple days after Christmas so all this kind of went down after Christmas we haven't really had any marketing for the game in a while like we were getting some tweets uh, but we haven't really gotten much of that anymore but we finally got a new one from the Spain account and uh, this happened on December 27th at 307 p.m. Eastern uh, so this tells me that somebody actually logged in to this account. This wasn't like a pre-planned tweet because it came out at 3.07. That's a very random time, that 07. Uh, usually it would just be like uh, on the hour time, like 3 o'clock or something. Uh, so it says Boba Fett, Boba Fett, and it says Donde, which I believe means where in Spanish. And uh, you get this nice little clip of Boba Fett. So let's go ahead and watch this right now. Bounty or no bounty, you're coming with me. Alright, so that's actually a cool video of Boba Fett there on Tatooine that looks to be in the open world of uh, Tatooine, by the way, uh, just playing as Boba Fett. And I gotta say, his character model looks really sharp. Uh, the Bantha in the background looks really good as well. Uh, so it, everything about the graphics, I think, looks perfect. And uh, he says, bounty or no bounty, you're coming with me. And some people have been kind of complaining, or I've seen some people okay with it, and some people complaining about the voice acting. So I believe it's been confirmed now that the voice acting is being done by Daniel Logan, who actually was Boba Fett in Star Wars Episode 2. Now, of course, Episode 2 came out 20 years ago now, which is kind of crazy to think about. So the actor, Daniel Logan, he's all grown up now. So it's actually kind of cool that now that he's grown up, he's doing the adult Boba Fett voice. Uh, so I think that's awesome. But yeah, personally, I think he's uh, going to be fine doing the voice. I don't think the you know Lego voices need to be perfect, just like the movies. Uh, he sounds close enough to me. So let me know what you think about Boba Fett's voice there. So then a few days later on New Year's, we actually got some more activity on the Warner Brothers Games Spain account. And uh, this is a, kind of a New Year's tweet here. It says, uh, this is translated from Spanish. It says, Happy and prosperous New Year. We hope that 2022 brings you many new adventures. And then we got a picture there of the Super Star Destroyer. I believe we've had that picture before, or at least a similar one. So I don't think that image is new, but that seems to be based, you know, in the open outer space, open world of the game. And uh, so there's a New Year's tweet there. Uh, we ne didn't get a New Year's tweet from the American account or any other accounts, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, Spain is really coming through for us, uh, giving us a little bit of marketing for this game. So then a few days later after that, on January 5th, we got a new tweet from the LEGO Star Wars game account, the American version. And this is the same tweet, the Boba Fett video, uh, once again, but this time it's just being posted on the American account. So... You know, it took a couple weeks, but the American account finally caught up there. And I did notice that this was posted uh, from an iPhone, which is kind of interesting. So Twitter tells you where a tweet is posted. So that means somebody in the marketing department of WB Games, I guess, or maybe TT Games, actually tweeted this out from their iPhone, which I thought was kind of interesting. So that's pretty much all the activity on Twitter. So the next thing I want to talk about is the game being rated in various countries across the world. And I think this is a good sign as well. So first off, we have this page right here. This is from Australia. This is the game being rated PG in Australia. So here in America, we have the ESRB, which rates our games. So it'll be like rated E for everyone or T for teen and for mature. Usually the Lego games are rated E10 plus. So everyone 10 and older. So I'm guessing that's what Skywalker Saga is going to get here. And I did check on the ESRB website and they have not rated it just yet. So we're not getting a rating here in America yet, but we are getting a lot of ratings here from other countries. I'm going to kind of show you all that here. So this is the Australia rating right here. Then right here is the Singapore rating. So I don't actually see the exact rating, but this basically shows that the game has been rated. It's been approved and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't see exactly what it was rated, like what age or whatever, but uh, Singapore is now looking into the game. And then we also have Germany rating the game as well with a age 12 rating, which is kind of interesting. So that would almost be like 
rated T here in America, so uh, that's uh, definitely a sign that maybe this game has a little bit more violence than a typical LEGO game. I don't know, but uh, I thought uh, the age 12 was a little bit high there, but uh, who knows. Then we also have this article from TwistedVoxel.com, I guess is how you say it, and they reveal that it's also been rated in Taiwan and South Korea, releasing spring 2022. Um, so they both gave it a rating as well. You can read this article. It says, it says Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has been rated in more territories indicating that we are on the verge of a release date announcement. We've been reporting on the game since it was rated in Brazil as well as other territories. So it was rated in Brazil as well. And it says the new rating submission appears to have passed in both Korea and Taiwan. In Korea, the game was rated on December 24th. Uh, so then it says based on these ratings, uh, blah, blah, blah. So... So you might be asking, you know, what's the point of all these ratings? Well, it's really a sign that the game has to be pretty much done. All the content has been added into the game, and they have to be, just be doing bug fixes at this point because, because who knows, TT Games could add stuff to the game later that then changes their rating, and that wouldn't really be good. Uh, so the game has to be pretty much done before they rate it. At least all the content has to be in there. Uh, so this is a good sign that the game is going to, in fact, be releasing in spring 2022. And then, of course, as I stated earlier in this video, we have all the new marketing tweets from the Spain account as well as the... American account now with the Boba Fett tweet so there is some activity going on with this game we did not see that last year so last year after we got to the spring 2021 announcement at Gamescom it was basically dead silence until April 2nd of uh, last year I believe is when they delayed the game again um, but this year we're actually getting frequent tweets from WB games uh, so I think that is definitely a solid sign as well that this game is on track this time so that's pretty much all the news I want to talk about in this video. So the game is being rated in several different countries across the world, not America yet. Uh, you can check the ESRB, but it hasn't been added there just yet. And then, of course, we're getting new marketing tweets, which is always a good sign that we didn't get last year. And I do want to mention here at the end, I want to call out TT Games on this. So we had this article that was posted on September 1st of last year. Uh, from TT Games is still on their website. They haven't taken it down. Now, this will be linked in the description as well. I always point this out on my Twitter account at Quickbrick Games. Uh, but it's now been over four months. So this is from September 1st. And in this article, they say, check out our new trailer. They're talking about the Gamescom 2021 trailer. Uh, and then it says, uh, look, we look forward to sharing more news about this epic new title very shortly. Now, I don't know what very shortly means to you, but I'm pretty sure that's less than four months. So, because it's now been over four months since they've said that, and they haven't been really doing anything. We've gotten, you know, a few of those tweets, but I wouldn't really call those news. Those are just little marketing tweets to let you know the game still exists. Um, but we have not gotten any more news, so I don't know. I think that TT Games actually lied. I did a poll. Most of you guys think that TT Games lied here. And, uh, you know, it, this wouldn't have been hard. They could have just posted another tweet, you know, last month or a couple months ago or something, just saying, hey, we're still working on the game. We're going to share more substantial news later, but, you know, this is just a news update that the game is progressing normally and everything are progressing well and on track for spring 2022. They could have done something like that, but no, they've just been silent. Uh, so, yeah, I really just wanted to call them out on this, that they did say we were going to get news very shortly, and it's now been well over four months with still nothing, and it may even be five months before we get something. Uh, but, you know, if the game is on track for spring 2022, there was the leaked release date of April 5th, of course. I've covered that in previous videos. You can check those out here on the channel. Um, so if the game's going to release on April 5th, which I think is a pretty... Uh, good chance I think I think it's a reasonable date still uh, they need to be marketing this game soon because most games have at least a couple months of marketing and uh, you know April 5th is uh, not too far away now so marketing is gonna have to begin here shortly so we'll have to wait and see what happens I think if we don't get anything by like the first week of February or something then I don't think it's coming out April 5th. I think maybe it's going to get pushed back into May or something. But I personally believe the game is still on track for Spring 2022. So anyway, let me know what you think about all this. What do you think about the Boba Fett voice? Do you think the game's still on track to release in Spring 2022? Or do you think the game's going to get delayed again? Let me know all of this in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more LEGO game videos. We're always covering the latest in LEGO games. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games. Yeah.